Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. Today I want to tell you how you may improve your laser with a few easy steps. So first of all, this video is devoted to our existing customers who have 5.6, 8, 8.5 and 10 watt lasers. So um, this is a laser diode, it looks like this, um, brass or copper tube. Then it's inserted into a heatsink, so this is a doubled heat sink that is made like this. Some heat sinks they are only glued with a special uh, silicone pasta like this. Some of them are even uh, very firmly uh, connected like this with the M4 screw and then you screw it here so this, uh, this makes better connection and uh, then this part is inserted into our aluminum cowling. So uh, what we actually notice that it's good, but it's not perfect, and uh, we can improve it and make laser more powerful because less temperature we have, less power consumption we get, and more powerful uh, unit is. So what we actually suggest is that you add another heat sink installed. Uh, like this, so you have first heat sink, uh, like this, and you can insert it here. So the thing is that you need a press to make sure that you can press it in, because you need very, very firm, very good connection. So this laser diode consists of two parts. So this is a main part where diode lay where diode is, and this is an additional part. But then you can, like I said, insert it like this. So after all, we, we suggest to you that you can add additional uh, smaller uh, heat sinks that you can actually cover and add it like this to your, um, to your existing aluminum um, heat sink. So more you have, cooler the laser diode will be. So we actually bought, I bought different shapes like this so you can cut them you can get something like smaller and cut them as well so maybe most of you will think that you can buy decent Chinese kit like this and insert your laser inside so this is not a good construction because when you insert the laser it's here you see it it uh, has no connection so it doesn't it should be very very uh, it has to be very very firm inside of here so they have screws but it doesn't help even if you use a glue and glue inside this will not give you an ultimate result because in a like week or so this glue will, will lose its uh, features and it will not uh, transform actually uh, will, will not cool your laser diode so this is a big disadvantage uh, another Chinese constructions like this they are a little bit better but they are painted and as soon as they are painted uh, it's not good for heat distribution so the laser will most more likely be overheated so this is 5000 uh, laser diode that was actually burned and you cannot also ins install bigger fan here so this is another big disadvantage so uh, I already made some improvements for my 10 watt laser as you can see I added second heatsink and I glued smaller pieces like this I even ins inserted a few over here and one and one here so at the end uh, I will insert it into my aluminum cowling and that will do much better. Another heat sink was also improved like this and it's also will do better job. Uh, for 8.5 and 8 watt lasers it looks like this. So I just uh, glued one heat sink here and inserted a few smaller heat sinks over there. Another thing that you can also do is replace or add more powerful fan that will give for example 10,000 RPMs. So these are 7 
um, 7200 rpms you can get something like 10,000 and that will uh, chill or that will cool the laser diode much better so and this is a 10 watt laser that we got at the end so I also glued another heatsink here and uh, looks also nice technologically advanced and we have a very good heat distribution so that's uh, just a very easy life hack how you can improve your laser with a few steps just glue uh, cut heatsink and glue to your existing one and you can also replace uh, fans